under a couple of my last videos some of you have been asking questions like how can I afford to live here? Well, as I started thinking about this topic I came to a conclusion that the answer is not as simple as because of this or because of that. So today I went out on a hike during which I'd like to tell you how can I afford to live on this island? First of all, you need to take into consideration the fact that what you see on these videos, or rather what I show you here, is the end result of a couple of years of preparation, both financial and psychological. So it's not like an idea came into my head and I just went and made it happen right away. It all began when I started traveling and I visited the island of Gran Canaria about three or four years ago. This is where I fall in love in the idea of living on an island, but back then it was just a fantasy. However, this was a moment when I started to think about making my money online, because it seemed like a step towards achieving my goal. I didn't want to be where the job is. I wanted a job that was anywhere where I was. During that time, I tried quite a lot of things. I got into programming, graphical design, um, 3D modeling, app development, and finally, I started doing videos. And this is what I'm doing right now. And that's where most of my income comes from these days. That's YouTube, plus I'm coaching some of you in calisthenics. However, only recently have I started making enough money to sustain myself. And that was after months, if not years, doubting myself and wondering if I'm not wasting my time doing what I do. Living frugally and adapting yourself to a situation you're in are another aspect that allowed me essentially to move here. Life on this island is pretty expensive for me, so my diet, for example, had to be optimized to be uh, cost-effective in the first place. And by cost-effective, I mean cheap. I like to eat a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables, but it's too expensive here, so I had to cut it out. Another decision that I had to make to try to minimize the monthly expenses was not renting a car or a bike. Because of that, I have to walk everywhere and I have to carry all my food and water in my backpack from the supermarket. But that's just another compromise I had to make. If you channel your time and energy into achieving a goal, and if you're willing to make some sacrifices on the way, then success is just a matter of time. Sometimes a very long time, but nevertheless. But that's, of course, easier said than done. And that's the problem with the internet today. Because we watch videos and we see someone in a certain place without seeing the road or time it took to get there. So to summarize this video, I'm gonna give you a couple of points that allowed me to move to a place I was dreaming of moving to in the past. Number one, create a stream of income before going anywhere. It doesn't have to be big, but there has to be something going on. When I was in the process of creating the lifestyle I have right now, I have been living out of my savings and it's not a good place to be psychologically. With the feeling of emptying a bank account hanging over your head all the time, it's difficult to enjoy anything. It can be used as a fuel to work harder though. Secondly, minimize your spendings. I know it sounds like a cliché, but it, that's the reality. The less you spend, the less you have to work to sustain yourself. Everything apart from paying the rent and buying basic food is a luxury. At least that's how I feel in the moment of life I'm in right now. Does buying new clothes or eating in restaurants make you that much more happy? I know I can live without it, but in return I get to be here, which makes me joyful. And that brings me to the third thing. Embrace the change in your life and don't be afraid to make sacrifices. I had to change a lot of my old habits. After coming here, 
that seemed essential to my life before. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter because I go to bed with a big smile on my face knowing that I'm living my dream. I hope it answers some of your questions. Remember that life isn't perfect, but as long as we focus on the positive moments, it can be pretty damn close.